Hello, Master Gary Hernandez here. And in this cane video, I am asking everybody out there that carries a cane for mobility, as well as self-defense, mainly for mobility, to help me with today's video. And here's why. I carry the cane with me when I'm out and about, but not as much as the average person who needs to carry a cane. And what I mean by that, as you can see, I have a table and chair set up for this video today. And what we're talking about is, and this is where I'm gonna need your help out there, cane community, where do you put your cane, or where do you like to put your cane when you're out in a restaurant? Now, obviously, we're not gonna put it in the middle of the table. I just did this to get your basically interest in what we're about to do. So that's the only reason it's sitting right there. Now again, I do carry the cane out and about, but not as much as everybody else because right now I don't need it for mobility. I do carry it for self-defense from time to time, but I don't carry it as much as a person that needs to carry it all the time. And that's the person or persons I'm looking to hear from. Now, <clears throat> let's discuss this for a second. When we're out somewhere eating dinner or we're going out somewhere, there are many different kinds of tables, many different kinds of chairs. There are tables, there are booths, there are chairs, there are high tops, there are bar stools. There's deuces, which is two tops, to four, to six, to, to large tables, to benches. I'm not talking when you're out and about basically sitting at a park or if you're sitting on the bleachers. I'm talking when you're out having dinner, breakfast, or lunch or something like that. Now, here's some of my thoughts on it. For me, if I'm sitting down and I got, let's say I have a table like this, right? Some chairs have where you can lean on them, some don't. <clears throat> I can put my cane, and I'm right-handed. So that may matter in a self-defense situation. If you're working left and right, it probably won't. But in a mobility situation, that may matter more. So since I'm right-handed, let's go with the right. Now, Let's say I'm in a restaurant, and let's say I have somebody sitting with me. Let's start off with, um, we'll start off with a four top. <clears throat> I used to work in the restaurant industry, so they call them four tops. Now, if I've got a person sitting here, I'm, and this might, if this is a really good friend, maybe I'll do this. <clears throat> but if it's not a really good friend, or it's an acquaintance, or somebody I'm meeting for the first time, putting my cane between us two, personally, and this is my opinion, I feel it's going to be a little rude because it's probably going to slide their way and annoy the crap out of them. They may reach for the condiments and they may knock it over. Obviously, I've seen people put it in their laps. Again, if the kings, if we're kind of close, I'm almost poking this person. <clears throat> now, so I might keep it on my right side as long as it doesn't fall over in the aisles or when we're getting up, I don't knock it over, somebody might kick it. I have seen people stick it to the back of their chairs, okay? And that's fine, as long as it's not sticking out in the aisle way where someone's gonna kick it. And again, is it gonna be into my back? Am I gonna knock it down? Now, the whole thing about keeping the cane close to you is you're sitting down, you're using your cane to sit down, you go to get up, you want your cane to get up. As self-defense, yeah, I could strike with it really quick. If someone's reaching in this way, from behind, whatever I gotta do. I've done videos on that already. But what we're talking about right now is where is a comfortable spot, not just for you, but for the people around you when you have your cane in a restaurant. Now, we talked about keeping it on my right. The benefits is I'm right-handed, and that's my, where I'm probably going to keep it. Better control for me. <clears throat> Again, between us, can be rude to this individual. In my lap, same thing. It may be poking them. Back in my chair, I can get to it, and I see that a lot. I've actually seen people that uh, come into diners 
where they've had coat racks and they don't need their cane too much for mobility and I've seen them hang them there. And that's fine. But if you do need your cane to get up and down, it's gonna be with you. Now, let's take a little side angle with the camera and I'll show you exactly the same process, but at a better angle. So here we are on a side view. Same situation, the cane is here. Again, I do need to worry that it doesn't fall in the middle of the aisle or the corner area. I gotta make sure that a waitress or a waiter or somebody, even somebody walking by, kids don't knock it over, or trip and get hurt. Again, sticking it here, is it gonna be rid of this? This is a deuce, what they call T-top. Yeah, this is fine. Not gonna matter anybody. It's not affecting anybody. It's in here, it's in my space, and that's fine. So obviously, this is rude. So where do I get if it's a booth now and I've got that one wall area? Obviously, I can stick it there because then I can get it, and when I'm sliding out, use my cane. So think about it. And like I said, there's a, um, a lot of good spots to put it but I want you to tell me, please. Now, there's a gentleman I work with, I have a day job, most of you know, and it's a pretty good company, and we have tables exactly like this, and chairs very similar, and we have oh, about 300 employees, we have two shifts, so we end up with about 60 people to 70 people eating in the break room, because we have a couple different lunches. And there's a gentleman who has a cane, I mean, there's quite a few, but there's this one guy, I see him all the time. He definitely needs the cane. And I've seen him put it here, because this is what we have, and it's most of the time somebody will kick it because they're trying to get between, there's more tables here and tables in front, and they're coming through and they either bump the table or hit the cane and knock it on the floor. He's had it back here, the same thing, they've knocked it down. They've been nice enough to pick it up and hand it back to him, but again, um, I eat there five days a week, and I see him five days a week, and at least three days, somebody's knocking his cane over, I hear it. And once you hear a cane hit the ground, and you do cane, you know that sound. So, again, take the time, the cane community out there, and you are smart, very, very good people. Help me this time. Help each other. Give me suggestions give each other some maybe it'd be some better suggestions put some photos in there that's what this community is about is about us working together i know i shoot a lot of videos out there because i love the cane i feel i'm pretty good with it in a combat situation but you know what in the everyday carry it in life um a lot of you guys are the masters in that so show me teach me where is a good spot safe comfortable spot that you like to carry your cane when you're out having dinner whether it's a two top four top booth high top you're at a bar it just it'd be interesting i do watch people when i see different spots they put them but i don't sit there through my whole dinner and what's he doing now is the cane still there sometimes i'm sitting there i'll look up they're gone they've already left so I felt this was a good time to ask you, the cane community, and get your input, your knowledge of what's a better way. What works for some may not work for others. I understand that. And again, everybody has a great idea. Please share. And I'd very much like to see some photos of where you put your canes when you're out and about. Next time you're at dinner, take a picture and post it. It's something I would love to know. So again, thank you for your input. Thank you for watching the videos. And I hope they do help. Gary Hernandez, and I'll talk to you guys very soon. Thank you.